This is Graham from .easy coming to you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about analytics and software we have on the server which is going to help you follow along with it for your site. Now earlier we posted a picture on Facebook of our Webalizer program. Now what this does is this goes through and shows you a bunch of analytics for your site which can help you track not only things like what are your most viewed files on your site but also where your bandwidth's going so where it's actually being used up for those of you who are wondering as well as those of you who are looking for extra ways to get some SEO going, this is one way to do it. The Webalizer will actually show you what people are using to search into your site, where they're coming into your site, what pages, as well as leaving. So we're going to be going through today and showing you a bunch of the different features of Webalizer, where to get access to it, and what you can do with some of the information you're going to be getting. Now, for those of you who don't know where Webalizer is already, you can access it by going through your C panel or your control panel. You can also call this the administrator panel, once you have this open and have this good to go, you'll find this under the log section here. You click on where it says Webalizer, and then you click on View. Those of you who have more than one domain, so any kind of add-on domains, will see all your domains listed here on the same server. So make sure you click the magnifying glass under View beside the one you actually want to go to. So we just have the one in this case, so we're going to click on View. Once we get here, it's going to show you a list of all the different months based in a 12-month or a one-year term. So it's going to show you your usage for one year. After one year, it actually doesn't store the analytics anymore. So if you are still looking for older information, make sure you're backing up or saving it. But otherwise, it'll show you them within the last 12 months. So we're just going to go ahead and click on December here. We're not going to go to January just because January is currently in progress, so it's being used. So it's not going to have a full list of information, which is more fruitful to show you. Now, a lot of people also argue that you can use Google Analytics or any other kind of device, and you definitely can. There's no problem with using these, and you can definitely use them in conjunction with this. But because the Webalizer tool is actually offered on the server through the server, it can give you a more accurate reading than something else you've added on, such as Google Analytics. So in that way, it can be a more professional or better viewed tool. So you may want to use it in that case here. So as we open it up here, you're going to see a bunch of information. So this is like the monthly statistics at this top here. You're going to see a bunch of little colorful graphs. But under here is kind of the first thing you want to situate your eyes on. It's the daily statistics. And this is going to show you, based on days of the month, what your usage was for each different section, whether they're hits, files, pages, visits, sites, or kilobytes. Now, a lot of people argue what part of this information is relevant. Now, hits is going to be pretty much anything coming to the site, period. So this can be viewed as not really accurately reflecting if you're looking for things like visitors. You're probably going to want to look at your visits for that, and that's going to be more accurately reflect that. So do make sure you do use the distinctions between them. The other one that's quite important is the one that says kilobytes. So this is actually going to show you how much bandwidth is being used on a daily basis. And some days you'll find we'll use more bandwidth, some days you'll find you use less. But it's important to know that, especially if you're running events or anything else, so you can take a look and watch your actual traffic as it's being used. So now that you can see this here, we're going to scroll down to some of the others, and you can see as we're going down that there are some other ones, like such as hourly statistics and everything else. We're actually going to go down to one of the ones that I find very useful, and I find a lot of people ask me when I'm talking to them, is what's being viewed on my site and what's being used up the most. Now this here, you want to go to the section where it says total URLs by kilobytes. And what this will do is this will show you what the most used or most viewed basically in terms of actual bandwidth usage. So here you can see what particular files or sections of your pages and your entire site are being viewed the most in terms of bandwidth usage. So typically if you have any kind of a video, you have larger pictures, or you have music on the site for instance, it's almost guaranteed these are going to be all over the top of this. But say if you have a bunch of movies, or you have a bunch of songs, or a bunch of pictures, and you want to know what people are actually looking at, that's where this can really shine. Or if you're, say, using up a lot more bandwidth than you think you should be, this is where you want to go to find out exactly what's using it up. So by looking here, you can see how many actual hits are going to it. And generally speaking, this is, again, the hits is anything going to it, so it's hard to tell whether or not these are actual visits or not. But the important thing to look here is hits versus the actual kilobytes. If you see a large amount of kilobyte usage versus lower amount of hits and say some of the other entries, well then you know something's rather large and it's being used up a lot. So if you're running into bandwidth issues, those are the ones you're namely looking for. 
if you're just looking for what's being used the most, that's where you're just looking for a top kilobyte usage. But this should give you a general picture or idea of what's using the most traffic on your site and possibly what's being viewed the most. So that's really what that is. The entry pages and exit pages you can see below here are also important. This is the first page that someone's coming to when they actually view this. So this will be if they're saying coming from another site that's linking to yours, or say for instance, if they're coming into the site by typing into the address bar, or even coming in through like a Google search for instance. This shows you the first page that they're coming into your server through and also where they're leaving. So what the last page they viewed on before they went somewhere else other than your server. So for those of you who are trying to say retain clients, you may want to put up some extra scripts or something on these pages that you see in the exit section to try and keep those people in your site. That's a good thing to look at for ones that are entry pages. This may be where you want to put advertisements or something else if you find yourself doing a lot of ads like Google ads or things like that. Those are where you're namely going to be putting those. So these are important if you're going for that kind of aspect as those are the main ones to do. The next section here that's kind of important if we go down is the one here where it says refers. For those of you who are doing a lot of links who are looking for what kind of ads are actually getting back to your site, that's where this shows. This shows where people are actually going to first with their URL before they come to your page. So basically where they were before they came into your site. So for those of you who are wondering how well your links are actually working for you and who's in your say network group of links, this is where that's going to really shine. If you have a lot of advertisements and you're wondering where people are clicking to get to your site, this is again where it's going to come in. So you can kind of watch that and see where it's actually being profitable for you versus where things are no longer really going well or they're not coming in. If you see something on the site that's not coming in through a link anymore, I mean that's generally an indication that's not being needed, especially if it's a couple months in a row. The next thing here, which is probably one of the most important ones for most people asking about how do I get more people to my site, the search string is definitely number one in that book. Now the search string is what people are actually typing into web browsers such as Google or things like that for search engines. And this is how people are getting to the site. So these are what your keywords ideally you're going to want to be looking for. So everything that's being added in here for a search string, you probably want to put as either description, keywords, or a combination of both on your site. And you can add these to your meta names. If you're using anything else, you can use um, certain plugins for things like WordPress, Joomla. So there are many different ways to add these in. And SEO or search engine optimization, as it's called, is definitely a major thing. Uh, for those of you who are wondering about browser compatibility or what kind of browsers are viewing your page, if you say you use something like ASP or using something like JavaScript that are browser compliant or do actually matter a bit, then you definitely want to make sure that user agents is something you pay attention to because you can see where people are coming to and what browsers they're using. And I can kind of give you an indication if you need to put some compatibility for different types of scripts or whether or not you can see that the browser is not being used at all, in which case you don't really need to account for it. For those of you who are wondering where people are coming from, there is a section at the bottom that does show the country so you can see where people are actually coming from, where they're viewing your sites. So you do get a bit of a show here of where it's coming from. This, I mean, it's as you can see, there's a large section of unresolved, which basically means someone's not showing where they're from. So you got to take it like a grain of salt, essentially. It's going to come in. It's going to show you as much information as it can. But if you're really looking for where people are coming from, it's generally better to go for where they're referring from or what they're searching, because that's going to be a better indication of how people are getting to your site rather than going on a country basis. But that, in its essence, is the Webalizer. It does show a lot of analytics, and it is easy to look. If you do have multiple sites on the same server, you can go through and see one for each different one. It will track them individually. So it is a nice tool if you're looking for any kind of analytics for the site. So we do definitely suggest to look for it. Now, one thing we did mention before is to go through when we were doing the search strings and how to add these in for search engine optimization. Now, before we did do a video for HTML on how to create a basic business HTML website that looks fairly professional, you can definitely check it out if you want. And now we did show you how to add meta names to any type of that page you're going to set up, whether it's through HTML editor or something else. Now, for that here, just as a refresher, it's going to look like this. We've got actually just a quick one here. So you're putting in meta name. You're going to add whatever type of it is. For those of you looking for search engine optimization, this generally comes in one of two. You can use description like we've got here, or you can use the other one that says keywords. These are generally the two that search engines look like. Keywords can be thought of as one word 
by itself separated by commas and you'll have a bunch of them. Make sure they are relevant to your site because search engines will actually penalize you if you use just generic ones or they can tell you're just trying to grab extra traffic. So do make sure they are meaningful and don't put add too many that don't necessarily need to be there. For the description, this is actually just a one word description or one two sentence is a good way to think of it. And what this does, this is to basically describe your site. And this helps them try and find your site and categorize it a little better so that people can more easily find your site. So it is good to have. Now, for those of you who are using our website creator tool, there is actually an easy way to add this in. All you need to do is open the tool up. As you can see here, we've actually already got it open. Once it's open, you can go to where it says design website at the top. And once you've got that open, you're going to go to the edit site properties option at the top here and here you can see at the bottom it's got the meta name description already in there once we've got this here you can go to description as we said before and keywords as well and all you need to do is type in exactly what you want in the string there and once you save it and then publish it it will automatically be online and just to remind those of you who don't know what meta tags are, they're actually something that hides in the background of your page so they are not visible. So you don't need to worry too much if you don't think a word is really appropriate for your site. As long as you feel it is relevant and you want it to be there, you can definitely add it and someone's not going to see it when they're actually viewing the page really. Yeah, so they are completely invisible so you don't need to worry about that. But that is how you use it, that's how you can set it up. The search ring, the analytics, and everything are all there within our accounts. You can see WebLizer through any type of account with .easy, everything from our basic hosting all the way up to our unlimited hosting and our cloud servers as well. So they all do have it, and you can easily track it for any one of your programs or for any one of your servers, for anything you have set up. So it's just another tool we brought to you here through the .easy control panel to help you manage your site and work a little easier. If you have any questions or if you have any concerns or anything about WebLizer, definitely contact us. You can leave us a message on Facebook. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch more of our videos and just contact our support if you really have any questions as well. We'd be more than happy to help you with that. It's great and fun about easy. You take care.